Hello, this is Jared from Commit Quality. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can handle file uploads with Playwright.net. So before we go into the actual code, I just want to show you what we're actually trying to achieve. So on our practice page of Commit Quality, if we go to the file upload component, you can see here we've got a choose file and submit button. And all this does is if I choose a file, you can see that I've got this wreck and roll Playwright PNG, one of the thumbnails from one of my previous videos. Once I click submit, you can see file successfully uploaded and you can click OK and all is good. It just refreshes the page back to its original state. So I want to show you how we how we can handle this. Let's jump right into the code. I already have my go to statement, which goes to the practice file upload page. Next, I want to say let's add the locator that we want to target. So I'm going to say page.locator. And in my case, it's going to be input and the type will be a file. But let's just double check to make sure. There we are, we've got type of file. So if I say input square brackets, because I'm dealing with the attribute type equals file completely fine. So that's going to say find the choose file button here. And then we want to say dot set input file async. And what this is going to do is say, okay, for this locator, I want to try to upload a given file. So in my case, let's just take the readme. So I'm going to say copy full path, paste it into here, and that's all good. It's just going to try and upload this readme file. So if you don't have a file, just put one in your root location and you'll see that, that will work all completely fine. Now, the next thing is we want to say add an event listener. So let's just add a comment here saying add event listener for the dialog box because that's the one that pops up saying file uploaded successfully. So I want to say page.dialog and say async. Handle dialog. Should we add the semicolon here? So what we can see in here now is what do we want to do to handle this actual dialog? So I'm going to say, um, tell you what, we're not going to accept end at the moment. Let's just say await page dot pause async. Because right, I want to show you what happens if we add the event listener without actually doing anything with the dialog that appears. So we'll do a page.pause in there, but of course to trigger this, we actually need to say page.getByText. We need to click the submit button. So let's say click async. I think it was called submit. Let's double check. Yeah, it was. Okay, great. So that's our test. We're saying go to the file upload, find the input type of file as a locator, and add the file here. So the readme document. Try to click the submit button. And then we want to handle the dialogue. So in this case, we're just saying page pause. So we're not actually doing anything with it at the moment. So I'm going to add a page pause there. And I'll add a page pause here. So let's run the test and see what happens. Awesome. So we start off the test and we've hit our page pause. If I step over this, you can see it's trying to choose the file. It's found the locator. It'll now upload the file. So you've got the readme here. Next, we're going to click the submit button. So we found it, click it, and now you've got this dialog that says file successfully uploaded. But we're not doing anything, we've added a page.pause. So if we actually continue out to this, it doesn't actually do anything, but it hasn't actually got rid of this dialog box for us. So what we need to actually say is click OK, and then the test will carry on and everything will be fine. The reason why it wasn't doing that is because we haven't handled it yet. So inside this event, uh, inside this event listener, we can say await dialog, which is what we've called it here, dot accept asynchronous, which is going to basically click that OK button for us. So let's try and rerun the test again. And we should see now, once I continue over it, it'll all work as expected and it won't hang on that dialog box. So let's say step over, choose the file, click submit. Dialog is there. We're on the page pause. But now if we step over, you can see it's clicked. OK. It's clicked OK. Everything is handled as expected and the test has now passed. So I wanted to show this specifically because if you don't actually have this accept async inside this event listener, the test was going to hang like what we saw. But that's a nice, easy way 
to handle your file uploads using playwright.net. As always, if you have any questions or comments, please drop them down below. A like and subscribe is appreciated. I also have enabled super thanks. So if you do want to help contribute towards the run of my channel, website, or you just fancy buying me a coffee, do that through the super thanks. As always, thanks for watching. Have a good day.